okay, so now that you've joined the Thinkfinity community, what can you do with it? Well, first of all, we know that we're, we're joined and signed in because we see our name at the top corner. Now, what I'm going to do is go look at some of my places or my groups that I belong to. And I find a big button here for places. I belong to a middle level education group. I believe to belong to a pre-K group. Here's the Reconnecting McDowell group. Here are the Coordinated School Public uh, Health People group, et cetera, et cetera. And your screen will be different than mine. How do you find groups to join? Well, you can do that with the search engine at the top of the screen. So what are you interested in? Are you interested in math? And when you search for a subject or a person, you'll find choices. So are you looking for content about math? Are you looking for people regarding math? Or are you looking for groups and places that you can join to discuss mathematics? And here we have lots of different ones. Here's uh, a math group from South Dakota. Uh, here's one from Singapore. Okay, So they're all over and you get to join. So what if I wanted to find groups that are West Virginia specific? Very simple. I simply search for WV or West Virginia. And again, I'm not looking for people. I'm looking for places. There's the West Virginia TIS group, the West Virginia Entrepreneurs group, the Mercer County group, etc., etc. And when you find a group that you're interested in, you simply click. And at the top corner of your screen, you'll find a button that says, join this group. And that's it. Depending on their settings, they may it might be an instant join or they might have to approve you before they join. And that's how you find and join groups.